about to announce our very special winner. Thanks everyone for joining this little video. My name is Tim Drinkwater, owner of Accurate Machine Products. We're a small little CNC machine shop in Janesville, Wisconsin. I'm gonna recap a little bit our experience over the last year. You know, back at IMTS 2024, we went down there and took the whole shop down. I went down on Wednesday afternoon, met with a few people. Kyle Milan, Arthur Field, met those guys and did a little chatting. That was good stuff. And then uh, my whole team from the shop came down on Thursday. So we closed the shop Thursday. Everyone comes down, checks it out take some pictures, team building stuff and so forth, and uh, really just enjoy being immersed in everything machining for a day, right? So it's a great experience. I know uh, everyone on the team always enjoys doing that, and then being as close to Chicago as we are, we can get away with doing that. I know for a lot of shops, and especially small shops, that if it's a, it takes a plane flight, it, it's just not in the cards, right? So, and I get that, but uh, it works well for us. Yeah, so our whole team was down there Thursday enjoying the show. And then uh, Thursday night, uh, my wife, Amanda, she drove down. We had the kids with the sitter for a couple of nights. She drove down and we went to a 90s rock concert at, uh, uh, what's the name of that place? Uh, if someone remembers, put it down in the comments for me. It was a great experience put on by uh, the Manufacturing Happy Hour group. Friday, uh, my wife and I, we head down to the show and we kind of just tool around, check out the things we want to check out. But our first stop on Friday was to stop at the Kenna Metal booth because they were in the tooling hall, which uh, opens an hour earlier than the machine halls. So we stopped over there, made sure to put our name in the Kenna Metal giveaway for the, the DN Solutions SVM 4100. Yeah, checked it out. I had a great chat with a couple of different folks in the Kenna Metal booth, and uh, we decided to grab some lunch at Connie's, and we ordered a full pizza. So it has like a, I don't know, 15, 20 minute wait for the pizza, right? Amanda was waiting for the pizza, and I was sitting at the table kind of checking out my messages and emails and seeing what was all going on there. And I saw a message from Ashley. I'm like, who's Ashley? I don't know who this is. We're reading the message, it says, you won the machine. What machine? I'm getting scammed or something here, right? So I did a little checking, figured out who this Ashley was. Sure enough, it was kind of metal, reached out to me via LinkedIn of all places uh, to get in contact with me and to see if I was still at the show. So I messaged her back, says, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yes, I accept the, the, the machine. And then she asked, can you be to the booth in five minutes? I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I can get there. So I grab Amanda quick, show her my phone. She reads it. She, I don't think she'd quite process what was going on. I tooled my way up to the booth, got there just in time for uh, this amazing sportscaster type announcement from uh, the MTD team where they just gave this bellowing shout out of a machine giveaway it was amazing we are about to announce our very special winner are you ready all right and our very lucky winner of this co-branded machine is the very much tim trinkwater hey tim it's fantastic to have you here with metal mania at the kind of metal booth so first man how pumped are you to this amazing piece of equipment. It's completely unreal, man. I, you know, you enter for something like this, you don't think it's going to happen, but here we are. Man, I am pumped. I, it's, I, it's maybe starting to sink in now that I look at the cameras, but it's, it's, for, it's unreal. Exactly, and you are the lucky winner, so we have to know you're going to get this brand new awesome machine. What's the first thing you're going to do with it? I'm going to decide who I let touch it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's decision one. Um, decision two is uh, tool it up. We're gonna spin it up. Start making some parts. Hey, we're pulling it up. We're gonna spin it up. Hey, one more time, man. Let's give a hand to our man, Tim Drinkwater. So I, you know, after that big announcement giveaway, I was really just beside myself. I didn't know how to react. I was kind of dumbfounded. There's cameras everywhere. You know, at the time, I wasn't. Uh, I was a bit more camera shy than I've become in the last year. So. It's another part of the whole uh, growth story, I guess. Yeah, hung out with the Kenna Metal people for a while, and pretty much the only person I've let touch the machine is Mark. Yeah, so after the big announcement giveaway, MTD was doing some more filming there in the booth, and so they let um, Amanda and I, uh, Amanda eventually caught up. She had the whole pizza with her still, and so uh, Kenna Metal had a second level to their booth, and so they invited us to sit up there and uh, relax for a couple minutes and kind of process what had just happened. And um, everyone in the Kenna Metal booth was so excited for us, 
and it was just an amazing experience. Big, big shout out to Counter Metal Man. You changed Accurate Machine. It was a blast the day it showed up. I mean, it's just exhilarating and exciting. It was still just flowing through us. We did a little video clip, uh, you know, of the machine rolling in down the parking lot. So it was a whirlwind at IMTS. We left the show back home and start getting uh, emails and such. And this machine was coming straight out of IMTS to our shop. So I got a hold of my rigger here in Janesville and got them to drive down to Chicago and wait in queue for their machine. I think it uh, was unloaded on Tuesday, I think it was. That was just uh, you know kind of a, a waiting moment, right? So you're just waiting around, seeing if they get it. And it was six hours late or something like that, getting on their truck. And they got it back to Janesville, but they didn't have time to bring it to my shop. So it sat there for a few days, maybe a week. Then my rigger didn't have time to do a full set on it. So we got it in the shop on the floor safely, but my rigger was booked up for a month and they, they said they just couldn't have the time. So me being the guy I am or whatever else, I've got all the machinery skates and all the rigging equipment to do a lot of that stuff. I just don't have the big forklift to get it off the truck. But once it's on the ground, I can move pretty much anything I've ever brought into the shop. So we got it on skates and we wheeled it into position. We had to wheel out the old machine. Um, the machine we were replacing was my original VMC, um, a Johnford, that uh, I'd bought back in 2007 or thereabout. It served us well, but it was the one that had to go. So it went and made room for the DN. We got it set down in place, got it all wired up, and uh, then we had to wait for an install. But it's kind of like one of those like kids in a candy store moment. Like you can buy the candy, but you can't you can't eat it yet. You know, so you get the machine here, you get it on the floor, you get it installed, and they tell you, no, you can't turn it on. Dealer's got to be the one who turns it on first. And uh, my good friends at Ellison Technologies handled the install side of it. Again, this was uh, very graciously covered by the whole. The whole team of Countermetal, DN Solutions, and Ellison, they got it installed and up and running. Um, we did opt to convert it to BT40 because all of our machining centers were already BT40. We have a fairly um, well-tooled uh, tool crib, and we wanted to be able to just keep that going. And of course, we were very fortunate in that it used the same pole studs as most of our machines. You know, the installation went really smooth. The fun thing about that is I love crawling around at our machines and checking them out and seeing, uh, seeing how they're all built. And I was impressed with a couple of little things on the DN. One was the, the way cover telescoping spiders they have on their way covers, so all the covers move evenly rather than stack into each other. That's like the number one thing for way cover failures is they just beat on each other for years. And with those spider arrangements, they open and close real nice. The leveling feet were actually very nicely made. I forget exactly how they were configured now, but I remember playing around with it because I rough leveled it. A very nice setup to get it leveled. Um, I've had some machines before where it's just a nightmare trying to get them leveled, largely because the leveling system on them was terrible. Great leveling system. So coming off of the high of winning the machine, getting it installed and firing it up and checking it all out, we had to decide what part we were gonna make first. I said, you know, hey, in the spirit of the adventure, IMTS and all the internet-y things and all that, I decided let's make the Titan M1 first. Um, as it so happens, during uh, this whole endeavor of IMTS and winning the machine, I was actually working to facilitate my first Craftsman with Character class. If you don't know what Craftsman with Character is, check it out. There's a link. Beautiful program put on by a friend of mine, Dave Haytag, who started it and now is pushing it out nationally. Great program. Please, please check it out. We used that opportunity and I got to share in the experience and share with the students from uh, the high school, like 
what a winning that was like and all that. We brought them down to the shop and we made, uh, we pre-made some keychains together because I only had them for a few hours, but then uh, we set them up with uh, Infusion and um, Mark guided them along and showed them how to add their initials to the backside of the keychain. And so every student was able to engrave their initials on a Craftsman with Character keychain made right here at Accurate Machine on a Kenna Metal machine from DN Solutions. It's a fabulous experience and I was thrilled to be able to share that with those students from the local high school. After finishing that Titan M1, which we customized with our own little engraving, uh, we had to get to work. We had uh, a new customer come on, and this, the DN SVM 4100 was a perfect fit for their parts. Well, maybe not quite perfect, but we'll get into that. We started making their parts, and it was a good thing. These are tiny little guys. Can't say a whole lot about them because we have a non-disclosure agreement with them, but S7 tool steel, little parts, not terribly sophisticated, but just a lot of little subtle nuances to them to get them just right for the, the mechanism they have to go into. Cranking along, making parts on it, and the machine is beautiful. It's got the full integration with Fusion for simulation. It's all set up, turnkey, ready to go. SVM on our floor. We had to do no customizations to the post-processor. Run an Autodesk Fusion, DN Solutions, kind of metal tooling, using the kind of metal tool library, bring everything in. It's a beautiful thing. It all just seems up real nice. A couple of months in, we decided, you know, Let's see if we can leverage this opportunity a little bit further and see if we can get into some five axis work. You know, seeing how the, the, the SVM runs on an OI control, um, a FANUC OI, uh, it can't do full five axis simultaneous. It can do four plus one, and you can do flip flop which one's the plus one uh, live on the fly. But hey, you know, that's what we had to work with and decided to pick up a uh, used Sudacoma tilting rotor unit and got that bolted on the table and Coma handled the installation for us. It was a breeze. They were in and out in two half days, I think it was. Okay. Yeah, so it was pretty seamless install. Beautiful install. Everything's in there real nice and pretty. So uh, we'll get some close-ups on that and do some jogging around and things, but super easy. Appreciate uh, Coma's assistant and, and Adam did a wonderful job. Appreciate yeah, you. you. Nice to get to meet yeah. you. Yes. And, uh, Hopefully I see you on the next one, not right. necessarily on this exactly. one. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Thanks Adam. You. Yep. Yeah. And uh, got it all up and running. It's been beautiful. We put some fifth axis work holding on it. We took those parts that were the really intricate. Some of them were taking us up to eight operations to do. We flipped them over onto the, uh, the tilting rotary and using four plus one, able to knock it down to three. And the first op is just a prep op. We had to cut a dovetail on it. So that's kind of a bummer, but maybe we'll look at some crimping set up uh, down the road. But being S7, we wanted to go with the dovetail to start with. One main operation gets almost all the features and we flip it. We're not so fortunate we can just cut the dovetail off. There's still a fair bit of little work that's got to get done after the dovetail's cut off, but we're able to do it in just a standard uh, vice. So just doing basic three axis work on it. Been an amazing upgrade for us. All the parts and pieces have performed fabulously. Um, we hooked up with a gentleman named the name of Phil Brown who uh, helped us with some of the five axis stuff and uh, JIT CAD CAM. Check him out if you're a fusion person. He's got some great stuff online uh, and he does live, uh, live Q and A's on Fridays uh, a few times a month. So yeah, check out JIT CAD CAM if you're in the fusion world. Phil's a great guy. Yeah, when we've been just been trucking along, that family of parts, that 300 parts, those intricate parts, that's all this machine has run since it's got here. We've spent just as much time programming all these par intricate fussy parts for the machine as we have actually running parts. So it's uh, been a kind of an interesting transition. It's getting that all in, all the upgrades, um, all the learning that had to happen along the way. Our lead guy, Mark, has been on a fabulous job. I couldn't be more proud of him and the way he's taken on the challenge of a new machine going five axis on top of these 300 part numbers we're working our way through. Super proud of him and his, what he's doing here. So a couple of months ago, Kenna Metal reached out to me and said, hey, they wanted to do a photo shoot, kind of an update on the machine, um, hear about our use of the tooling and all that stuff. I haven't seen the, the full video come out yet. I know uh, it was a full-on videography team with all of the professional high-end red-branded cameras and all that stuff. So I don't know what, the, what exactly they're doing with all that video content, but I know they're putting something together. I haven't seen it yet, but that should be coming out. But that was a pretty amazing experience too, to, to kind of stage a few things in our shop, set up some machines, get some video content to, to help out the Kenamental team and their marketing efforts. 
was, of course, thrilled to do it, happy to do it. But it was a, it was a marvelous experience, too. It was fun to work with, you know, a, a professional-level team, you know, as opposed to our, you know, our, our quaint little operation here. But um, I think it was a good experience. I think Zach picked up a few tips here and there, too, just kind of watching them work and how to, uh, to shepherd me around in front of the camera appropriately. So it was a great experience. And once that uh, video comes out, we'll be sure to give you a link. We'll add it to the comments or something like that. But, yeah, it was an amazing experience. And, again, very grateful to Ken and Metal. Um, they came in, spent a day here. You know, we brought them in donuts and... Uh, uh, yeah, had a good little conversation, got some good video. The next day they were actually going to be in Milwaukee, which is kind of why they set that all up. So we went over to their roadshow tour in Milwaukee, which, by the way, I believe they're giving out some free toolboxes or something like that. So if you're seeing this and you want a free custom-painted toolbox, go check out Ken Metal's website. I think they're giving something away. Last bullet point I got here. Goals for year two. You know, the, winning the Kenna Metal Machine has just been an amazing experience for Accurate Machine and incredibly grateful. The whole Kenna Metal team, the DN Solutions, Ellison, everyone um, that has been so supportive in that process. You know, we're hoping to leverage that for continued growth here at Accurate Machine. I enjoy spending a lot of time working with the, the local schools. You know, I'm involved in three different uh, school districts trying to help them out with different things. Um, at different levels. I like doing that work, so I'm hoping to continue that in the coming years, but also looking to get an upgrade on the lathe side. You know, the mill guy's got a brand new machine. They're loving it. You know, I'm the lathe guy at our shop still, and, uh, you know, I think I'd really like some new paint, you know? So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be uh, filming uh, something about another new machine coming in, Accurate Machine. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, video recap of the uh, Kenna Metal uh, Machine Tool Giveaway at IMTS 2024. It's been an amazing experience here for Accurate Machine. We've been a uh, customer of Kenna Metal product for over 20 years. It's ebbed and flowed a little bit, but the first Swiss types I learned on, I used Kenna Metal tooling. Their quality has never faded. Happy to be engaged with Kenna Metal and using their tooling. And now I've won a machine given from Kenna Metal. Absolutely fabulous. DN Solutions has been fabulous as well. Great to work with. Ellison Technologies has been incredible at the support side of things. Feel so blessed here at Accurate Machine for the giveaway from Kenna Metal at IMTS 2024. Stay tuned, see what comes next. Remember, drink water. It's a healthy habit. Time to peel these guys off.